Hi everyone, it's Dr. Terry Van Alstyne speaking and I am about to speak with one of my group members that just joined the latest uh, detoxification program. Here she is, hopefully this works. I just wanted to find out how she found the program and what her final results were. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Dave. Hi, Katie. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Great. Beautiful day. It is. Yeah, it's nice out. Good. So I wanted to find out how you found the Core Healing and Detoxification program. Sure, yeah. Um, well, I met you originally through um, a friend, and um, I started following you on Instagram. Um, and then I saw that you had posted about the Core Healing and Detoxification program. And um, being somebody who always has kind of struggled with um, my health, uh, you know, and battling H. pylori for as long as I did, um, trying to get rid of that and then just not ever really building my gut health back up um I was super keen <laughs> that's right yeah yeah that's so good I reached out to you and uh you gave me a little bit of a rundown on what it would be like and took me through the steps to get started good yeah and how did you find the program itself I found the program really good. The first week was the hardest. I think just get, going through the initial um, changeover, getting all the gluten and, you know, all the just toxic stuff that I was eating out of my system mm -hmm. um, and my body detoxifying, especially from sugar and caffeine. That was, that was hard. Um, yeah. But once that first week was done, um, I felt great. I started to have more energy. I noticed probably by day three or four, actually, I was starting to sleep better, which was amazing right. being somebody who's a very light sleeper. I was having a really good sleep, um, you know, feeling energized to get up and go to work. And okay. yeah, I just, um, you know, the whole program overall, especially with the recipes and all the different menu ideas that you gave us, um, I found that to be super helpful because left to my own right. devices trying to figure out how to eat, um, you know, a raw vegan diet, which was suggested throughout the program. Um, I don't think I could have done it on my own. So <laughs> that was helpful. It can be challenging without guidance for sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's good. So yeah. you found it fairly straightforward, fairly easy to do. Yeah, I did. I found, um, you know, the accountability charts were super helpful. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, all of the, I really like organization and like the, the way things were laid out and just, you know, remembering to, you know, the daily reminders to drink lots of water and this is what I should be eating in the morning and this is what I should be eating for lunch and dinner. So that was super easy to follow for me. Right. Um, and, you know, the, the weekly check-ins that we had as well were super helpful uh, which mm -hmm. is helping me to make sure I was staying accountable to the, the other members of our group as well. When I have more people doing it than just me, it's easier to, <laughs> to stay right. on track with something. So yeah, yeah it's, it's yeah. nice to do it in a group where you have other people who are going through it with you as well. That's good. Yeah. And so what kind of results did you achieve in the end? Um, my energy levels have been restored, you know, almost Great. exponentially. Um, I, have iron deficiency. So every once in a while, I'll feel a little bit fatigued, but I just try to make sure that I'm, you know, eating lots of iron rich foods and mm -hmm. taking the vitamins that I need to be taking, um, drinking lots of water and staying hydrated. Uh, I was losing inches, which was awesome. Um, cause I ballooned right up. I've always been pretty slender. Um, and then after I got married, uh, two years ago, um, I slowly started gaining weight. I lost a lot of weight when I was sick. Um, mm -hmm. And then it slowly started coming back. And then I just seemed to over the last prior to this, um, going on this detoxification over the last like six months, I ballooned right up and was really bloated all the time. So to start feeling better and seeing results in the mirror that motivated me to, to stay on the program and keep going with it even on those days where sometimes I would just want a chocolate bar <laughs> <laughs> but you know eventually those cravings went away too like I didn't mm -hmm. I didn't want that stuff I would say probably by like week 
three, I was noticing that a lot of the cravings were subsiding for, for, and it was always for sweets. I have a really bad sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, just, and eating lots of fruits when I was having those cravings really helped frozen blueberries and apples, that crunch of the apple really helped. Mm -hmm. So it's learning what I should be replacing those cravings with, uh, which sustained me longer term. That's great. And did, were you ever hungry during the program? Um, the first week, because it was an adjustment again for my body, going from eating whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted, you know, not really taking good care of my body. Um, but after, you know, like having lots of snacks available to me and suggested, um, you know, throughout the program, I, whenever I'd get hungry, I'd just start picking on vegetables. Um, but I, I never was starving or feeling like I was on one of those crazy crash diets where you just drop a bunch of weight all at once. And then as soon as you go off, you gain it all back. You know, I, I mm -hmm. always felt like I was, I felt for the first time that I was doing something the right way. Like I was trying to, to, um, get healthy again by doing the right things. So yeah, that's but, great. Yeah. Yeah. And do you feel now that you know how to eat properly? Yeah. And I've like incorporated that into my husband's life as well. Like both of us are um, trying to be more conscious of how we eat and what we put in our bodies, um, eliminating, you know, the use of refined sugars and all kinds of stuff, dairy, everything. We're, we're trying to be very mindful. Um, I think I'm a little bit more mindful than he is, but uh, he can get away with it right now. <laughs> I, I try to, you know, making the switch from uh, like sugar to honey if I want, you know, sweetness in my tea um, or using, I actually prefer coconut milk to regular milk now. I would much rather drink Great. coconut milk in a smoothie um, if mm -hmm. I want a fruit smoothie than anything else. So getting off of dairy and everything has been, has been the, the greatest part. I have to be careful though, because it's in everything. So reading labels mm -hmm. and paying attention to what I'm putting in my body, trying to eat as organically and as, as clean as possible. Well, it's, it's also made a difference. So. And yeah. then you also took some of the supplements that I formulated. Yes, I did. Yep. So I would incorporate the two core healing, um, uh, compounds that De you made. Yeah. Yeah. I would detox powder and the immune antiviral. Yeah. I would throw those into my smoothies. Um, mm -hmm. so it was just making sure that I was getting them every day. I just, the easiest way was for me to put them into a smoothie. So great. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that tasted fine. Oh yeah. I couldn't even taste it. Good. Yeah. Oh good. I found that with, um, e drinking the detox smoothies, uh, that you had suggested the recipe that you had suggested with the blueberries, banana, um, I was throwing in some kale as well, spinach, mm -hmm. Um, that all took rid of, it took, got rid of the taste of anything else that I was adding and, you know, having to add spirulina, it smells horrible, but you can't even taste it in the smoothie. So yeah, if there's enough fruit and other things in the smoothie, it yeah. covers it up. Yeah. Yeah. So that made it really, really easy to be getting the nutrients and supplements that I needed, um, by just having fruit smoothies, fresh fruit and veggie smoothies available. Excellent. Yeah. And the importance of the spirulina and Atlantic dulse and barley grass juice extract was to pull out the heavy metals, yeah. right? Which yeah. we all have in us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I definitely felt that. I felt, um, yeah, I just, I felt it was so different than any other type of cleanse that I've ever done because I would feel with any other cleanse that I've done or detoxification program um, that I've tried on my own, I would feel that weak, fatigued feeling almost through its entirety. Whereas mm -hmm. with this, it was like the first week was the worst. And then once you make it over that hump, I, it was like, I woke up one day and I was, you know, for lack of a better term, a new person because <laughs> I couldn't believe how great I was feeling. And it was simply because I wasn't eating things that were causing me more harm and, you know, aiding in my health problems. So, right. Yeah. And now with your digestion, has that improved? Uh, uh, yeah, I can't believe it. I mean, aside from when, because, you know, now having gone, finished the program and like not gone back to regular eating, because like I said, there's a lot of stuff that I avoid still um, and try to be very mindful of. But when I do have, you know, say a, a Saturday night with my husband and we eat pizza, like I feel it instantly and regret it. So I try to just be mindful and not, not do that. And, you know, um, but you know, when I am eating very clean and organic and trying to be mindful of the fruits and vegetables that I'm eating on a daily basis, um, I don't have problems with digestion. I don't have, you know, my system runs regular. My, I have no bloating. 
Like the only time I experience bloating is when I've, you know, resorted back to eating gluten or dairy or something like that. That's the Mm -hmm. only time. So, you know, for anybody who doesn't believe that that's a sign, like for me, that's a sign that something's not right because, you know, 99% of the time I feel okay. And then the minute that I eat something that is, has dairy in it or gluten or refined sugar, like I start to feel it and I'll either get bloated or nauseated um, or just feel off and low energy, not low energy. That's yeah. what I get immediately. Low energy. Yeah. That, and mm-hmm. that's the worst for me. Cause I have to be kind of like, go, go, go and on all the time, mm-hmm. especially with my job and my husband and our lifestyle. Like I have to be mm-hmm. always ready to move. So having no energy, it sucks. So I just try to be, mm-hmm. try to be careful. It's good. Yeah. And did you pack your lunch yeah. during the program? Yeah. And are you still doing that? I am. Yeah. I, uh, I find it really yeah. helpful and it enables me to not just grab whatever from, you know, a, a ready made meal from the grocery store or something like that. Like having, um, a large part of what I eat now is, uh, turkey or chicken. I stick to white meats. Um, and then the rest of my plate is vegetables. So, and then for, for breakfast, I have oats, like whole, whole oats and, mm-hmm. um, usually peaches or blueberries, something fresh that I can just throw in there, whatever is kind of the seasonal fruit that's available to me. Um, I'm lucky because of where I live, we have farms around and the, everything's pretty much, you can get it pretty much off the, off the vine or off the bush. So <laughs> we were that's doing great. a lot of that during the summertime and picking fruits and vegetables when we'd go up to the Okanagan to visit my in-laws and bringing them back and trying to eat that. So breakfasts are usually oats because I find I need that like carb kick in the morning. Um, and then berries and then like a muesli. Yeah. Muesli and, um, you know, like cooked oatmeal, cook oatmeal. Yes. Um, and then fruits. And then for lunch, I'm eating usually turkey or chicken breast or a salad. I'll try to make a really big salad mm-hmm. with just a little bit of chicken. Um, and then lots and lots of vegetables. And same with dinner times. Like I'll, I'll cook um, like rice or something extra for my husband. But I, mm-hmm. I try to just stick to vegetables. I eat potatoes. I was avoiding potatoes for a while, but I find that I need them and I need sweet potatoes. Mm-hmm. I need that ex- extra little bit of carbs. Otherwise, I'm hungry mm-hmm. after dinner. Um, but yeah, no, I'm doing, doing really good. And it's been, you know, staying on track and having packed lunches available to me is, has made a big difference mm-hmm. in, you know, my snacking and eating a good lunch, like a good sized lunch. That was one thing that I really liked about the program is I always had a big lunch. Like I always had something really big. And if I couldn't finish it at lunchtime, I'd, ha- I'd take it back into my office with me and just pick at it while I'd be working, you know, and still eating what I need to be eating and not snacking. But now I'm finding like, I don't really have a need for, I eat a good lunch at lunchtime and then I'm not hungry again until I get home from work. So sort of falling back into a regular routine of, of how Mm -hmm. I should be eating. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. And were you exercising during the program as well? Yes, I was. Um, I was doing light to moderate exercise, mostly walking my dogs and, you know, making sure we went on extra long walks. I wasn't going to the gym. Um, I used to go to the gym a lot and it became quite excessive. And when I was on the program, I just kept it very light and moderate and attainable, you know, just very Mm -hmm. like, just eased back, back into it. And now, um, you know, as we get into the fall, uh, my intention is to continue to go back to the gym on a more regular basis, two to three times a week. Now that it's not so hot out. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. And when you're on a detox, it's important not to do excessive exercise anyways. Yeah. Yeah. And I felt, I felt, I felt that, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we even ever really talked about it, but I felt like it would be more beneficial to me in the long run for me to take my dogs on a longer walk around the block where we Mm -hmm. live versus going to the gym and trying to push myself to do a hard workout. Cause that's usually what I do when I go to the gym is push myself to work out hard. So yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So thank you so much for Mm -hmm. uh, talking with me today and enlightening everyone about the detox program. For sure. I'm starting the next one soon. Awesome. uh, uh, September 30th, the Monday. Okay. And there's an option of a four or six week program. Not that you need to know, but (laughs) um, (laughs) for everybody that's watching. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's great to have one-on-one consults with group members and the group, uh, check-ins and being being part of a group I think makes a big difference huge. when you're on some kind of program like this yeah huge yeah. huge difference it's hard to do by yourself it really is it's easy to make excuses to cheat you know when you're 
when you're on it by yourself and having, you know, other people who are experiencing the same things as you who are going through, you know, their own stages of detox and we can kind of lean on each other for support. That's what really made a difference. So, you know, I've, I've tried almost every diet out there and I found that this one was probably the most attainable and realistic because I wasn't starving. It was realistic. I had to get that idea out of my head that things were going to change overnight because um, mm-hmm. I think that's kind of how I've gone into everything in the past. And with your program and all the information you provided and how involved you were, it really made it attainable and easy and it helped change my frame of mind into why I was doing what I was doing for my body and my health. That's great. And did yeah. you learn things I learned that you didn't so know before? Much, so much. <laughs> Good. So much. Yeah, so much. And especially about, you know, just the way food and what we what we eat and like how we eat and all kinds of things and how important staying hydrated is. Like I learned so much in this entire program uh, with you. It's it's crazy. Just things that I think I was I, I don't I don't think I ever knew. And if I did know, I was kind of just like naive to it. Like now mm-hmm. I, I I've gained a lot more knowledge and I know how important it is to make sure I'm nourishing my body with the right foods and, you know, moderation for the other things that I like to indulge in once in a while. But if I can, you know, avoid it 99% of the time, then, then I'm doing good. So that's awesome. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Katie. It was great to see you again. My pleasure. Thanks, Dr. Terry. We'll I appreciate talk to you it. Soon. You bet. Okay. Bye. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye.